Okay ladies and gents, so what's going on here? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing the 2022-23 UEFA Nations League prediction video. That's right, including the knockouts and who I think is going to win the finals. So let's get into this. So for group one, we have France, Denmark, Croatia, and Austria. Now obviously I'm going to pick France to win this group just because, hey, it's France, man. They got a lot of good players, Benzema, Mbappe, Kante, uh, Coman, that I don't see who's going to be able to stop France from winning this group here. So that's going to be my first pick here. But if there's any other team that I think is going to challenge France, for this group I think it's safe to say definitely Denmark here just because Denmark on the international level have been performing really really well and I think that Denmark are the only team in this group that can maybe challenge France for that number one spot and then you have the Croatian national team but obviously it's going to be I think a somewhat of a difficult group for Croatia just because you know in their past matchups with France Croatia they've always been losing to France and you know I think it's all going to depend on the shoulders of Luka Modric to see how well Croatia can do in this group because Luka Modric is the main reason why I think Croatia are are still in constant competition for you know the world cup the uh or the euros so yeah that's why i'm gonna say that for the croatian national team i would be surprised if they could do really well in this group that would be pretty crazy but i just think that against france they probably don't stand a chance but at the end of the day croatia do have some key players on their squad uh, perisic modric kovacic so while croatia do have some key players on their squad still at the end of the day it might be a difficult group for them and then of course we have the austrian national team here i think that under ranik here austria they might have a chance to maybe win one or two two games in this group but for the Austrian national team they also have some pretty decent players like Kalajic, Arnatovic, uh, Sabitzer, Alaba to name a few players on their team but uh, I still think also it's going to be a very difficult group for Austria but the matchup between Croatia and Austria it's going to be interesting to see who does better here but my final pick here for winning this group is France and then for group two we have Spain, Portugal, Switzerland and the Czech Republic so this is a very interesting group here very tough group this group can be anybody's for grabs here but if I had to pick here on who I think is going to win this group i'm going to go with spain here i think spain are going to win this group not only because spain we could be seeing another spanish golden generation on the horizon with you know players like ferran torres on sufati laporte and gavi as well so for spain i definitely think those guys are going to give them a chance at winning this group here so that's going to be my first pick but of course you can't deny you look at the portugal national team here with cristiano ronaldo bruno fernandez joao felix diogo jota to name, to name a few players on their team they also have a really great opportunity to clinch that number one spot in in this group i think it's going to be determined between spain and portugal on who i think is going to be able to clinch that number one spot in this group but of course you look at the switzerland national team here i think that switzerland are the dark horse team in this group you know with a few key players on their team like seferovic Xhaka, shakiri and yana Sommer, to name a few players like i think that those players can make it really possible for switzerland to put up a challenge against teams like portugal and spain and then of course you have the czech republic here now this is pretty interesting here man czech republic uh you don't want to count them out too they also have another great player in the Schick. But if you look at the Czech Republic here, I think it might be the most difficult group for them just because, you know, you look at Spain, Portugal, and Switzerland. Those are three very experienced teams. And for the Czech Republic, this might be a very, very difficult group for them here. But uh, my final pick for this group for winning is, of course, Spain. And then for group three, we have Italy, Germany, England, and Hungary. So this right here is the group of death. That's right. Hungary got matched up in a very, very difficult group. And of course, man, you look at Italia here. They missed out on the World Cup. So they're definitely going to be more motivated than ever to try and find a way to be a competitive team again on the international stage especially after they failed to qualify for back-to-back -back world cups i think italy they're looking more motivated than ever and for the germany national team here of course you can't forget the main man on their team hansi flick and for germany here i think that germany without a doubt are of course in contention again of clinching that number one spot in this group just because you look at gnabry sane to name a few players on their team including muller this germany team i think that they are still looking like a very very solid team that is pretty competitive competitive for the most part and of course you have the England national team here with Harry Kane with Sancho with Sterling with Jordan Henderson with Mason Mount to name a few players on their team here this is going to be another team that's going to be you know trying to challenge for that number one spot in this group along with Italy and Germany and then you have the Hungary national team here now I think that Hungary's football team was definitely unlucky to get matched up here in this group just because man of course this is possibly going to be the most difficult group in this entire group especially for Hungary like I don't mean to doubt Hungary but I don't see how Hungary are going to be able to win this group. I don't have Hungary winning this group at all here. Like, I think it's going to be absolutely extremely difficult for Hungary to try and match up against Italy, Germany, and England. But for my final pick here on who I think is going to win this group, I'm going to say probably realistically, I think out of all those teams, I think England have the best chance of winning this entire group here. So normally I would pick Germany here, but for this time I have to say something tells me that England's probably going to win that number one spot in this group just because I think that England look like the most complete team in this entire group 
group stage. And now looking at group four here, we have Belgium, the Netherlands, Poland, and Wales. So of course, this is a super very, very fun group in my honest opinion. Now you look at Belgium here, they still have key players on their squad like De Bruyne, of course, can't forget about him, the main man on the team. And you have Lukaku and Hazard. So realistically, I think that Belgium have a really good chance of clinching that number one spot here in this group. But you look at the Netherlands national team as well. I think it's also safe to say the Netherlands, they are also looking like a very serious contender for this group, especially with players like Van Dijk, Depay, De Ligt, De Jong. And of course, you can't forget about Donjima here. He's going to be another player on the Netherlands team to watch out for, especially after his incredible season with Villarreal. Like Donjima just adds even more firepower to the Netherlands front attack. And then of course, you have the Poland national team with Lewandowski, with Krahoviak, with Zielinski, with Milik, to name a few players on their team, including Szczesny and Glick. So I think Poland have a great chance here in this group of challenging Belgium and the Netherlands here, because obviously I hope Poland can by some miracle win this group here. But of course, I think it's going to be really impossible for the Poland national team unless they can produce some really great results. And of course, unless they can put up a really good performance against Belgium and the Netherlands, because obviously for Poland to play against the Belgium and the Netherlands is a super, super difficult matchup. But of course, if Lewandowski can show up for the Poland national team in these games here, then I personally think anything is possible, especially for Michniewicz here for him to finally prove himself to be a solid manager for the Poland national team. Now, this is going to be a great opportunity for him as well. So yeah, Poland, I think they definitely have a chance against Belgium and the Netherlands. And you look at Wales here, they still have Gareth Bale on their squad. And looking at the Wales national team, I think it's safe to say they can also be a team that can, you know, put up a challenge against Poland, Belgium, and the Netherlands too. So realistically speaking, I think that this group can be anybody's up for grabs. But realistically speaking, who I think is going to win this group here is the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands are realistically going to win this group. Okay, so now we're going to be predicting League B. That's right. So for the first group in League B, we have Ukraine, Scotland, the Republic of Ireland, and Armenia here. Now, looking at this group here, this looks like a really fun group in my honest opinion. You know, I think that the best teams that have the best chance of winning that first place in this group, of course, are Republic of Ireland, Scotland, and Ukraine. I think it's going to determine between those three because for Armenia here, it might be a very difficult matchup for them. Just because you look at the Armenian national team, they don't have Henrik Mkhitaryan on their team anymore because he retired. But if I'm being honest here, here, I think that Ukraine has the best chance of winning this group, especially with players like Yarmolenko, Zinchenko, Yaremchuk. So if I'm going to be honest here, I'm going to say Ukraine is going to be the team to win this group here. And for group two, we have Iceland, Israel, Albania, and Russia here. But of course, you know, Russia, they got disqualified from the group because of course of what happened, which I'm not going to get into. So that leaves us here, Iceland, Israel, and Albania here. Now I'm wondering here, is there any team that's going to be replacing Russia in this group or something? Since Russia got disqualified here from this group, I don't know if there's going to be a team that's going to replace them in the group or if the matchups are just going to be Iceland, Israel, and Albania here. Now looking at the Iceland national team here, I don't know what happened to Iceland here, especially after the 2018 World Cup, but Iceland have not really been the same team here. Now you look at Israel here, they have another chance of being able to be a very competitive team in the group, especially with their main man Zahavi. But of course, you also have the Albania national team here with Armando Broja here. So speaking realistically, if there is one team that I think can win this group here, I'm going to go with Albania. And then for group three, we have Bosnia, Finland, Romania, and Montenegro. So for this group here, I'm going to say I think Bosnia can win this group. And then for group four, we have Sweden, Norway, Serbia, and Slovenia. So for group four here, I think this spot can be anybody's for grabs, including Slovenia as well. And you look at the Sweden national team here, they have key players on their squad, especially Norway here with Erling Holland. I think this group is going to be a great opportunity for Holland to once again prove why he is the best player on the Norway national team. But of course, you can't forget about Serbia and all their talented players with Mitro. Vlahovic, Kostic, Tadic, Milankovic, Savic. I think it's safe to say that in my honest opinion, I have Serbia winning this group here. I don't know why, but something tells me that I think that there's a big chance that Serbia can be the team that can have the best potential of winning this group. And now looking at the group C here, we have Turkey, Luxembourg, Lithuania, and the Faroe Islands here. So right off the bat here, I'm going to say I think Turkey is going to be the team to win this group here, and that's going to give them promotion to League B. And then for group two, we have Northern Ireland, Greece, Kosovo, and Cyprus here, I'm going to go with, uh, I think Northern Ireland's going to win this group here. And then for group three, we have Slovakia, Belarus, Azerbaijan, and Kazakhstan. I'm going to say Slovakia. I think they could win this group here for group three. And then for group four, we have Bulgaria, North Macedonia, Georgia, and Gibraltar. But I'm going to go with North Macedonia here. I think that North Macedonia have the best potential of winning this group here and earning promotion to League B. And last but not least, we have League D here. So for group one, we have Liechtenstein, Moldova, Andorra, and and Latvia. I'm going to say Latvia. 
Group two, we have Malta, Estonia, and San Marino. I'm going to say probably Malta. So now looking at the bracket here, originally I had the Netherlands winning group four and for the other winners of either group one, two, or three, I have Spain playing the Netherlands here in the semifinal bracket. And if the Netherlands do face Spain here in the bracket semifinal, I have Spain winning it 2-0 just because I think Spain are looking very composed as a team. And then for this semifinal bracket here, I have it being a France and an England match where I have France winning 2-1 after extra time so my final prediction is going to be a france and spain final where i think france can repeat here and win the game probably 1-0 and for the third place playoff between the netherlands and england i have england winning 5-4 here on a penalties so ladies and gentlemen that's my prediction video my updated prediction video because i did a prediction before a while ago but i thought i would do my final prediction here since this is going to be here in a couple of weeks so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like comment subscribe and have a good one